In this video, we will see how to perform principal component analysis on raster images in R. So, we need these two libraries, raster and RS toolbox. Then, we will set our working directory. And then, in that directory, I am having these four bands. These are all sentinel bands, 10 meter resolution. So, I am reading all these using raster function. This function is from library raster. Then we will stack using a stack function and then we can plot it and then we will perform PCA using function raster PCA. This function is from RS toolbox and then we will we will be performing the PCA on this stack what we have just created. So run it. Now we can plot the PCA means components so for that you have to use PCA and within PCA there is map. So dollar sign you have to use and that map will be plotted means all the four components have been plotted here. You can go for the statistics of this PCA using same dollar and model and using the function summary. So you can run it here you will find the proportion of variance explained so the first principal component explains 73 percent then second almost 26 percent and rest is less than one percent so the cumulative proportion you can see 99 percent is explained by component one and two we can also see the loadings so in component one band eight is having maximum loading in component 2 band 4 is having maximum loading and in component 3 band 3 and similarly in band 4 in the component 4 now we can plot the rgb of this pca by default it will be taking sequence of pc1 pc2 and pc3 in rgb so plot rgb pca and dollar map and then stretch we have to use either linear or hist histogram so this is the FCC or PCA. Suppose you want 2, 4 and 3 in FCC. So just you have to define it as comma separated. Means first you have to give a comma and then the RGB bands you have to write here. It's second band, third band and fourth band. Means second PC, third PC and fourth PC. Suppose you want to change it like 2, 1 and 3. That, that also we can get it will be plotted so second is second option is standard PCA by default it is using only PCA and the standard PCA we have to write is equal to true standardized PCA uses correlation matrix and in simple PCA you will find it is covariance matrix so if you are having bands of different units different ranges then it's better to use SPCA. So since we are having only these four bands, here covariance matrix is advised. If you are having some different bands, suppose you are taking terrain variable also or some climate variable also to get a PCA, then you have to use standardized PCA. So we will run here also. So just we have to use same function, but we have to give argument of SPCA is equal to true. So we will run this also. Now we can plot the RGB directly we are plotting here. So this is the standardized PCA. We can also see the summary of this standardized PCA. So proportion of variance explained is 77 percent and 20 percent. Again. One more option is suppose you want only two components or only three components so for that you have to use an argument and comp is equal to and uh, the number so here in earlier case here we are we are not using any n comp argument so we are getting all four components because we are having four bands suppose you want only two band then you can write here n comp is equal to two so we can run it and then we can plot so we are having only two components so two components will be plotted we can still plot fcc using suppose 2 1 and 2 
so this will be the result thank you for watching